Hi everybody, this is Dan Halsey from United Designers and Southwest Ecological Design Permaculture. Uh, one of the things I've been doing for a long time is working with PDFs that clients send me and many times getting CAD drawings in PDF is much easier in Illustrator than working with DWG files and things like that. Uh, DWG is a file type that I used to import into Illustrator without any problem, but lately they have been have having file type issues and things like that. And the nice thing about getting DWG file types is that everything's already in layers for you, which is great. But many times, especially when I'm getting information off of a county GIS website or other areas, the ones that will give me a vector file in the PDF as opposed to just a raster photograph in the PDF, uh, that allows me to actually work with these lines in the contour uh, very efficiently and work at my own scale and have them on different layers and make them disappear. Even this one, it has this raster image background, which is the aerial picture that I can make go away. So in this case, uh, we're working in Liberia and United Designer Regina Cabo Quintas, who is in Madrid, Spain, is one of our designers who I've worked with and uh, she's really good with CAD and of course she's over there. <laughs> So she knows the resources in Europe and uh, Southern Europe and even you know, into Africa and the African countries as to uh, how to find information and with her resources. So she's been very helpful with me on this, not something that I could find. And she did send me a, a DWG file from CAD, uh, but uh, I couldn't get it to work. So I just asked her to send me the PDF vector file, which she did very nicely. And here you can see it. Uh, but everything, as you can see in the uh, layers here, everything is just one big layer. So the first thing I do when I get a PDF such as this is basically start separating out the colors of the lines and putting those in the groups. Now, if you look at the layer over here on the right, you can see, hopefully, uh, I've already done that with all the red lines. Okay, That's the 180 meter line. So the nice thing about the way she set this up, too, is not only like in the 10s or the 20s or something, you have thicker lines based on the distance, but she actually has all the same elevations, the same color, which is very helpful. So now we can see, like if we are going to work on contour, where that actually appears and what areas on this entire property, 67 hectares, um, is uh, level, you know, and what those areas we can work in. So that's kind of great, the tallest and the shortest and such, as far as we can see. Uh, very sketchy line here, but you can still see the property line on here for the area that we're working in, which is great. And then she used the aerial picture. I think this is probably off of Google Earth or Google Maps in the background. And then through uh, the CAD drawing and through Google Earth probably was able to make these contour lines for me, uh, which is excellent. So back to the task at hand is what I want to do now is group all these together so that I can clean up this, these layers and have on what I want to turn them off when I don't want them. And sometimes it's easier just to have the tens on and not all the, the two meter lines in there uh, when we're working, or at least have that option. So the first thing I'm going to do, you can see there's green and there's blue and there's red. I've already done the red ones. I can turn them off. All the red ones disappear. Uh, turning off that layer in Illustrator. Again, we're working in Adobe Illustrator. I've already selected this line in blue, and now I can go up to the top of the screen and say Select Same. Actually, this is under, you know, I can't see it on the top menu, but it says Select, Same, and Stroke Color. Now, everything in this photograph, I should say this file, um, that is in blue will be selected. And then I do a Command G and put those all in a group. Now they're all in a group together in a little layer. And then if I do Shift Command, and the hard right bracket, it will bring those all up to the top. So this is the pattern that I'm doing as I go to collect all these images. And on many of the PDF files you're getting from CAD or from surveys, there are numerous layers and they're all just different colors, which is really great. Even the utility lines or the buildings or the roads are usually on a layer and a specific color. So you can select that color, go select same and then either line color or fill color if it's buildings things like that it will select all those and you go command G and this is on a Mac I think it's control G on a, on a PC collect them all into a group and then put those all at the top and then you're basically getting organized which I find you know just it's helped me I'm a big uh, believer that you have to reduce the visual noise in these things to make it work and to get organized right off the bat 
really helps that. So I'll lock the blue now, and I'm turning that off, and you can see, again, we have the green. So I'm zooming in on that using my uh, pointer, selecting the green. Let's see here. Here we go. What happened to the green? Oh, I see. They're all selected. There we go. So we have a green line on here. It just connects these. Many times, too, you'll get these, these lines, especially from CAD, and none of these points, none of these handles are connected at all. It's just a series of lines. And so you have hundreds and hundreds of little, little segments that you have to put together. So I'm going to go up to Select, Same, Stroke Color, Option G, put them all in a group, Shift Option, Hard Bracket Right, bring them to the top, and now all my greens are up there and I can lock those out. And now I have my red and my blue and my greens all separated out into different layers so I can kind of keep track of those. And in many cases, there'll be a lot of different colors, a lot of layers. Uh, I got a, a file one time from Georgia and there were dozens and dozens. It was a great survey, you know, I'm not complaining about that. But every tree, every height, every uh, diameter of breast height had been measured out in all these different colors. So it took me a while to put those all into layers, but in the end, I was able to clean up that file and get just the information I want to show when I need it and turn off the rest when I don't need it. But on the other hand, we still had all that information on the file to use. So once again, we're going to go here and click on the black. Select same. Stroke color. You can see they all get selected. Command or Control G to group them up. And then Shift Command, hard right bracket. And that brings them all up to the top here. And now they're in a group together. Remember always to save your work. Um, I have my uh, Adobe Illustrator set it right now about every 15 minutes. Uh, every 30 minutes is okay, but just think of all the work you can do in 30 minutes. So every 15 minutes, the thing basically um, saves all my work for me. So I don't have to think about that. But you can imagine working for hours and not remembering to save it or resave it as a different name. You might overwrite something. Or, as in a couple weeks ago, the power went off. I do have a, an uninterruptible power supply that, unfortunately, wasn't working at the time, which was a sign right there. I better go change the batteries, which I did on that. Now you can see how I turn these lines back on. There's all our contours. Contours go off. Right? Works great. So this is Dan Halsey for Southwoods Permaculture, Ecological Design, and United Designers team. Hope you like this and hope this was very helpful. Obviously, these kinds of strategies work in most all of the vector software programs. This is Adobe Illustrator, which is my preference. And next, what I hope to do is get back to you with the new ArcGIS um, online GIS system. They actually have a plugin now for Adobe Illustrator where you can actually get all your shape files from the hugely powerful ArcMap onto your work in Adobe Illustrator. So I'm looking forward to getting that cleaned up and figuring out how that works and we'll get another video to you. Have a good day. Thank you.